Hi, this is Phil Chandler. The question I get asked a lot is, what are my bees doing uh, when they appear to be doing absolutely nothing? This typically occurs when you've got a swarm into a hive uh, and, and within a couple of days you've peeked inside and or even a week later you've peeked inside and you, what you're seeing is bees apparently doing nothing very much. Now, here's an example. This swarm has been in here for, I think, about three days. I'm just going to put the camera down inside. So, here they are. Here's what looks like a huge ball of bees doing nothing in particular. But in fact, they are work busy. They're building comb. <clears throat> I'm just going to move the camera in slightly. They're busy building comb and they're preparing their nest for the queen to, uh, to lay into. She's probably already laying, in fact, and they will, um, when the weather's a little bit better, it's rather cool and windy today, um, as soon as the weather improves, which will be in a couple of days' time, they will be out foraging and bringing in food. At the moment, they're using up the resources that they brought with them in the swarm, um, because knowing that they were swarming, they filled up their tummies with uh, nectar or honey, more likely, and uh, they brought that with them because that's the fuel they need in order to build their comb. Uh, building, building comb out of wax requires them to turn essentially sugar into fat and the, uh, the sugar comes from the honey obviously, the carbohydrate, and the fat is the wax itself which is excreted in small flakes from glands on their abdomen. And that takes a lot of work and they get together like this in a big ball to generate heat, they need to keep warm, and this is why I'm not going to leave this uh, this follower board off for uh, any length of time because these guys need to be warm in order to generate the wax, in order to build the comb, and so that's what they're up to. When they appear to be doing nothing, they're actually doing a great deal. Here's another colony that's been in this hive for about a week now. And again, you can see that they are huddled up together, generating heat and building comb. That's their main job at the moment, to get, to create space for the queen to lay and for them to be able to store their food. So as the weather is not particularly clement today, that's what they're doing. So don't imagine that bees are doing nothing when they're in this state, they're absolutely not. They're busy. Now, this colony has been in place for nearly two weeks and as you can see there's much more obvious activity going on in here they're building comb and you can see that they've built it right up to the end of the available space um, I've, there's a plastic tray under there which I now can't actually get out because they've uh, they obviously eaten the food from it and it's, uh, I think they've built, you may even have built comb down into it now, but that doesn't matter, it can stay there for the time being. Um, you can see actually they've also started to build comb on the end, on this end uh, follower board. So that means uh, what they need is some more space. So I'm gonna put a couple of, a couple of extra top bars in there to give them some more room to build on. But if I put the camera down lower, you can see that they've built comb right out to almost to the sides of the hive and that's what they're going to be doing from the, from now on for um, at least several weeks and probably two to three months in fact uh, to give themselves plenty of space to store food for the winter so well I don't know whether the camera's focusing at that range but you can see there's plenty of activity going on in there and that's, uh, that's it's only taken them two weeks so I'm just going to go and open the other end of the hive and see how far they've got. So this is, um, this is dead space here, this is the end of the colony here and you can see they've actually built comb right up to the other end. They're building comb right here. So they're expanding fast, these guys. So that means they've built one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, at least 12 bars of comb in less than two weeks, which is not bad going. So when you see, when you uh, open your hive and you look in there after hiving the swarm and you think your bees aren't doing anything very much well, they well are. The other thing you, you might want to do is um, lift your insulation, run your hand under the insulation or where the insulation was and you can actually feel where the brood nest is. Um, right here I can feel heat coming through the high, uh, through the top bars and that tells me that that's the brood nest, that's the area that they are trying to keep warm, to keep up to brood temperature which is uh, only a couple of degrees lower than our blood temperature. That's the reason we put insulation over the tops of the bars all the time to help them manage that, uh, that, manage that temperature, keep the heat in. And also, I, I suppose I should mention again, uh, if you're in a hot climate, um, the other purpose of insulation is to keep heat out because, uh, well, this is, this is phenolic ply on here, but um, I've seen people using uh, metal roofs as well, which I never think is a particularly good idea, but um, if you, certainly if you use um, corrugated iron or something for your roof, or anything heat conductive, you must put insulation above the top bars because otherwise the heat will get through the top bars and begin to soften the comb and we all know what fun that is to sort out. The hive that these bees are in is probably eight or nine years old. It's got a, a central entrance which is not my favourite uh, nowadays so I will at some point replace that hive uh, with another one that I've got ready uh, which has got the um, what we call the side end entrances um, and uh, that one also has a mesh floor with a board underneath it and I can see that the in fact I can show you the bees are discovering or possibly even helping to make unofficial entrances uh, it's a nylon mesh which isn't um, which is good which works fine but uh, it's not I think it's becoming detached from the sides somewhat so for the maintenance work to be done there uh, bees are flying despite the wind <laughs> 